Well, if you're one of the many people that are looking for chinchilla litter pans, and you've looked on Chewy.com, you've looked on Flushers and Smiths, and you can't find them, and just like I've said in recent videos and in comments that people continuously ask me where I get my pans, I've already answered it a hundred million times and they still are asking, so I figured I'd show you a video of how I do my pans. I don't buy them anywhere, like they're not name brand, you know, pans that say chinchilla pans, you don't need one like that that says that. So what I use, like I told in the video before, is I use little cake pans. You can get them at the dollar store. This one's already um, been retired. You can get you can get a, about a year and a half out of them or more. Uh, if, you, if you keep at it, keep it clean, it, it won't rust like this on the bottom. And I'll explain another way uh, besides this way to make one. But for now, I'm gonna, for this portion of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and explain to you how you do this one. It's really cheap and expensive. But if you wanted to beforehand, you could spray and coat the bottom so it won't rust as quick as mine did. Mine rusted about a year and a half. And uh, you could spray the bottom, bottom with a coating to keep it, you know, from rusting. So what you're going to need is you're going to need cutting shears. They can be expensive. Get, get them anywhere, Home Depot. You want to you make sure you get decent ones, not cheap ones. And you're going to need, of course, a fencing wire. And you're going to need a pair of toenail clippers. Now when you cut them, when you're cutting that wire, to go over the pans. You want to make sure you just have enough that you, when, you, when you tuck it, and everything that you just tuck it. So when you measure it, you're going to make sure it's just enough to tuck. And when you cut it, I'm going to get as far close to that straight edge of that wire as you can. You don't have to be exact when you're cutting it. See, I want to show you how I'm just going to cut it right here. Because sometimes when you go too far over that line, or too close, it, you, you might end up uh, getting you know far beyond that line that you want with. And you might have to start all over again because you don't want nothing poking chinchilla. And, now, and then I use the toenail clippers to finish it off with the edge. Keep a nice clean edge. Takes literally a couple seconds. I know it has, a little, has hair on this because it was in the chinchilla's room. But yeah, you would just takes that easy. Just keep clip, you just keep clip, clipping around, clip around the edges whenever you do your pants. If you're lucky, you can start with a you know nice already flat edge. And that's basically that. Now what I do too. To keep uh, the chill from moving this around, is I put a little tile on it. Usually I have like a little tile. I'm just going to show you that special example. You know, normally, just like you would for your chinchilla, you have tiles. I usually have smaller ones. I thought I had it out, but I don't. But I have like little tiles that are like yay big. And you put that in the pan with the aspen bedding, and there you go. There's your pan. And, and if you do it right, if you code the bottom, I didn't code this one like I wanted to. This is one of the uh, practice first, one of the practice ones, one of the first ones I did. So you get better at it if you just spray coat them. Or another way you do a pan is you could do it the same way like this, but you could use aluminum sheeting. It's really expensive though, um, depending on what size you want to get. It could be like thirty something, forty dollars for a sheeting. And you can cut it to line into there with these same shears, or you get aluminum cutters instead of these one shears here. Uh, and then you you push it down inside the pan and then over it. What that would do is aluminum is practically rust proof. You can line uh, wood cages with it. Um, it withstands better than a lot of this metal stuff because you know it, um, the pet urine usually will since it has since it has acid in it, it's acidic and it will end up burning through the uh, properties of the metal. There's more of like a scientific term for it, but basically if, when pet urine sits in a pan for too long, it just starts eating through it. Because so, the one time I had forgotten the pan or whatever for a little too long. Usually you get like three days before you uh, clean these out, or if you go too longer than that, when the, whenever it fills up with the chinchilla's urine, it will end up as a result of that one that got retired. So that's how I do my ch 
Chinchilla's potty pants. There you go. I explained it again.